getting ready to make some homemade bread. And I wanted to share the recipe because it's so easy, it's so fast. So you just take two spoons of active yeast. This is not sourdough, this is just like if you're in a hurry and want to make bread quickly, that's delicious. So two teaspoons of the active yeast, two teaspoons of salt. Help me do it. You want to help me? Yeah. Okay, pour in this. Pour in. And we do... And then we do... Another one? Another scoop. A little bit more. Yep, so two, t two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of the active yeast. And go ahead and mix that up, Snowy. Okay, then we're gonna do three cups of flour. Flour. Big flour. Okay, so one, two. two. And two of and two of bread. Yep, we're making a bread. Hooray! We're making Love bread, some huh? more. We're making some more bread so we can eat it. Yep. Okay, so three cups of just all-purpose flour. Like the pork chops? Mm -hmm. One of the way? No. No? Okay. You're gonna do one and a half cups of warm water. I just do room temperature water. That's filtered. Can I pour that in? Mm -hmm. Pour it. Good. And then one and a half cups of room temp or warm water. A little bit a lot. And then you're gonna mix that all up. Look that. I like this is my favorite thing to whisk up the bread with mm -hmm. just because it gets it all really well. Mm -hmm. Oops, just kidding. I forgot that I was showing you guys how to bake bread. <laughs> That's my ADHD. All right, so it's been a couple hours and this is what the bread should look like. Like kind of like jiggly like that. And what I do is I take some flour, like a generous amount, like a handful. And again, there's so many different ways to make bread. This is just how I make it and it's freaking delicious. And then I go like this so that my hands don't stick. And I grab one of these. I love these bowls. These are the Ohio Stoneware like heirloom bowls and they're great for baking. They're dishwasher safe. You can put them in the oven. You can microwave them, but I really just use them for baking. And once you get all your dough out, you don't have to do a lot. If it feels kind of sticky, just add some more flour on it so that your hands don't stick. But what I do is try to get like all the flour on it so my hands don't stick. And then I just go like this. And then I fold it and then I'll take it from the other side kind of stretch it and then fold it again. And I just do this like a couple times until I feel like I brought some of that tension out of the bread. And then again, add flour as I go because I don't like my hands to be sticky. So once I feel like I've gotten a couple of those like folds, I do that whole like where I kind of like push and pull. I don't know why you do this, but I just know that it works really well. And then I go like this. <laughs> I'm, just like, I'm not good at teaching. I'm just showing you what I do. And again, like everyone has their own way of doing things. I just know that the little, these are like those Banneton baskets or whatever. Mine came with a like fabric thing and I ruined it because I didn't know what I was doing. I reused my parchment paper. <laughs> I bake each loaf of bread, it's totally fine. So I just stick that in this little thing and then I take this, stick it inside like that, all the extra flour, and then I will cover it with a little tea towel like this and then I'll let it just sit while I turn my oven on. So I bake this at 450 for 30 minutes. I'll just show you how I do it. That way it's easier. But while the oven is preheating, I'm gonna set this aside. And I'm going to turn on my oven to 450. And as I do that, bake, setting it to 450. Okay, so this is my little Dutch oven. I got it at like a couple years ago at Walmart. I'm just gonna stick the whole thing with the lid and everything in the oven while it preheats. And then when I hear it beep, I'll show you what to do next. 
All right, it says it's at 450. So what I do now, it's like real life cooking in the kitchen with Shannon. Woohoo! All right, so I will take, actually I have you on my bread right now, so let me, so professional over here. All right, so right before we put it in the oven, you're supposed to score it with like the little razor blade thing. I suck at this. No, honey, you don't get to hold the razor blade. My son is obsessed with razor blades right now. So you're supposed to like score it again. Mine, for whatever reason, is really hard to score. Maybe I'm just like not doing it right. So I never really do designs on it because it doesn't like come out well. But the main thing is just that you put something in the middle, some sort of score in the middle. So that's what it looks like. Don't watch out. It's very hot around here, guys. Okay, so then I take this. You guys know hitting. I plop it in here. I quickly, <laughs> I'm freaking dangerous out over here with my kids. Put the top on, stick it in the oven for 30 minutes. Oh, I'm doing a walk. Yeah, you are, and set your timer for 30 minutes. All right, well, we've got whoever this guy is, Epic Gardening on the channel. All right, I'm walking away from that. What do you need, huh? Sure. Trav is putting up our security cameras around the house. We already had them, but we're just adding more. This is what the little garden is looking like, but let me help Trav and I'll come back to this. Okay, we're back. So I have loofah growing here, and then I have peppers. I have some onions here and tomatoes there. And I was a little ballsy and planted stuff before I probably should have, but we're taking the chance. There's still enough time for me to direct sow if I need to, if this all dies for whatever reason. But I like to experiment, especially, and I like to push boundaries. So we are growing it. Now I need to figure out what I'm gonna put in this bed. I really wanted to put my bottle gourds in here but out of 22 seeds only one germinated when i planted them inside so i'm gonna go ahead and soak them i'm going to file the seeds like they say to do and just try to help them germinate so i'm gonna plant that over here and then maybe some dipper gourds this is basically gonna be like my kind of gourd <laughs> gourd arch my vision is to have like a bunch of really cool hanging gourds you know when it's like harvest time to be hanging from the arch so as these are growing these vines grow really long and tall i'm gonna intertwine them up the arch and around it from each side to hopefully have those like hanging gourds that you see that are so pretty so that's my goal and my vision and i'm planting also since the beds are bigger other things that i can also plant like peppers and onions and tomatoes and things like that as well just because i have more space so i'm gonna do that and then i want to do pumpkins and I need to fill these beds with soil. And then my plan is to have two more of these arches over there, but I honestly think that I might change it up a little bit and do these arches kind of on their side and try planting in the native soil. I don't know, I'm still figuring that part out, but this soil I feel like is so good and rich because it has so much coverage on it and there's so many worms and I feel like I really wanna try planting in the soil. So anyway, that's what I'm figuring out right now and I'm just watching a bunch of videos to try to learn as much as I can and educate myself as much as I can about what I'm growing. So I have all these I need to transplant and I just wanna make sure I'm putting them in the right spot with you know whatever it is that they need, enough sun, you know, make sure I'm planting them with companion plants to help them grow and not hinder them and, you know, watch out for like things that are a little bit, grow a little bit taller or, you know, that would shade them so that they would not grow well. So there's just like a lot of learning, especially when you're growing so many different things. But yeah, I'm just trying to quickly educate myself as much as possible before I kind of throw everything in. So that's what I'm doing, but definitely stay tuned. Follow along for the gardening journey. I hope this was a fun long vlog for you guys. Comment down below. What do you guys want to see next? Um, and yeah, thanks for being here. Love you guys. Oh, wait, just kidding. I keep trying to like in the walk and then I remember that I'm still baking bread. So once that 30 minutes is up, I will come back and show you what to do next.
Okay, timer went off. So we're gonna pull it all out. Remember, we just put it in for 30 minutes, and now we're gonna take it out. And at this point, you're gonna take the lid off. And you're gonna stick it in for 12 more minutes. It's gonna look like this, but it's not ready yet. But it sure does smell good. Come back here, boy. You need to get that good energy on you. Oh, I gotta take a drug test soon for work. <laughs> Come here. Let me get ya. Good, me. good energy. <laughs> I can't breathe. Oh my goodness. Feel like I'm gonna pass out. What is this stuff called again? This one is for like marijuana? This is not marijuana, honey. This is like come here, baby. Let me get you your good energy. Mm. I love it. That's my girl. Mm. You got mama's jeans in you, huh girl? Yeah, oh, get that good energy, good vibes. Look at her face. You're so cute, Snow Rose. Look at your face, you like that good energy on you? My little garden girl. Getcha, get you good. Storm, you want some good energy vibes? Come here. Come here, let me sage you. It's not even sage, I forget what this thing's called. It's supposed to be for like clarity. And creativity. Mm. Sage I say saging because I can't remember what the name of the stuff is called. And I'm gonna remember as soon as I turn the camera off. We have sage. We got a whole bundle. Keep this family protected. Yeah, let's use that. I can use my own. I can use that. For smoke cleansing for healing and clarity. Yeah. Yeah. Can you put some spider on mine? Sure. Alright, come over here. Nice, nice. This is what we do. I'm breaking bread. Okay, come here, babies. Okay. We gotta open some windows. Let the bad energy out. Why do we let the bad energy out? Because we don't want bad energy in our house, only good energy. So when we do this, we set an intention with God. Yeah. And we say, God, we're taking the natural things that you've provided us on our planet wow. to, you smell it? This is a sage. Yeah. And we, Let me try. our smoke cleansing. So we say, God, clear this space. God, come into our home. Only good energy only. Get all the bad energy out and we open windows to let out the bad energy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> There we go. Oh, I want to my picture too. I want to put it on my mom. You want to put it on your house? Let's not go lighting our house on fire, okay? There you go. All right, it's lit. Go. Your babies are staging. Why are you crying, dude? What's wrong? Honey, it is. It's just magical. Look at their little magical treasures they found outside. Their little flower. Did you just let a stinker on me? Was that a stinker you just let on me? Got acorn tops that we'll paint and do crafts with. Their little flowers. Here, is it bothering Dad? Hey, you just messed up my project. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. I was just showing everybody what you collected outside in nature. Here, let me put this out. Dad doesn't like it. Yeah. Why didn't you put it out? Well, I don't know. He like it. Dad says he doesn't like it. Because yeah. that will make him pass out. <laughs> Is that what he said? No, oh, he's kind of sensitive to smells. So am I. Okay, that's good. We'll do it later when Dad's not home, okay? Why? When he goes to work, we'll do more. Yeah. Yeah, sound good? All right, our bread is almost ready. Who's ready for bread? You guys getting excited for bread? So yummy. Okay, 12 minutes is up. So turn the oven off and ah, beautiful. So what I do is I don't have one of those cooling wire racks right now. So uh, I've been searching for them at the thrift store, but I just, ah, this is this um, parchment paper I've used so many times, so it's starting to, fall apart on me. But you want to 
Now it's really falling apart on me. <laughs> Won't let me pick it up. There we go. So basically, I just let it cool on a, a wood. Sweet boy. Thank you. So cute. Anyway, here is the bread. It's absolutely perfect and delicious. I have definitely mastered the yeast bread. And then I have this really great knife that I use to cut it. So we'll cut it here in just a minute when it's cooled down. Okay, here we go. It's definitely not cooled down, but we're gonna cut it because my kids keep trying to, to get it. So let me just... I can't tell you how good this bread is, you guys. Like, there's nothing better than home-baked bread. It is literally the best thing in the world. Oh, it's so fresh, it smells so delicious. It literally just like melts in your mouth. You really need to let it cool down because if not, it's gonna be a mess like this, but it's so good and it's still like kind of baking. You could see the steam coming off of it. But if you wait to let it like cool down properly, it's just so good, like look at that. It's so good, I can't even tell you. You just gotta try it and trust me. And then if you do try it, come back and tell me what you guys thought. But I'm gonna feed this to my kids. Storm likes it with just butter and Snow really likes it with butter and jam or like some sort of jelly. <laughs> Which is why I can't wait for us to have all those blackberries growing all over because we're <sighs> making so much yummy jam. Mmm, so good. Okay, now I've taught you how to make the bread, so you can make it if you want. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Finally ending the vlog. Mwah. Love you.